In today's video, we're going to be seeing how the Pixel 9 Pro holds up after two weeks of usage. The first thing I want to go over is design. I think that this is honestly the first thing that pops out to you when you hold this phone and just look at it. The design is just incredible. Everything is of really good quality, everything feels solid, and everything just feels premium. All the aspects of this design feel very intentional and just very, very nice to hold in the hands. I think this is probably one of the biggest shifts in pixel design we've seen since the Pixel 6. and. I like it. It is definitely more iPhone-esque than previous models, but it still has plenty of touches from the Pixel design language that you come to expect from them. One of the most obvious ones being the camera visor. It is a bit different this year, it doesn't have the blended design into the side rails. Instead, the camera visor opts to be its own little island, which I actually do like this. I think it still stands out as a Pixel phone, but it differentiates itself from the previous generations enough to be like, whoa, this is something new and different, so I like it. I also think that the side rails, despite being flat, still feel very ergonomic and nice. I think a lot of this has to do with them using a sort of curved, like, rounded edge on the edge of the edge, if that makes sense. It has a nice curvature to it that makes it feel more comfortable to hold in the hand, so they did a good job there. They also opted for a flat back versus the more curved, like, waterfall type of edge on the 8 Pro. I like both of these, honestly. I don't think that either of them is arguably better than the other. It's all down to personal preference. Although I do think that overall the 9 Pro feels more premium in the hands than the 8 Pro. But overall, very nice to use very nice feeling phone but what about general usage this is another area where the pixel really shines and it's just such a smooth fluid experience all throughout i've had zero hiccups using this phone at all like there's been no lag spikes or anything and that's definitely very nice to see especially on a pixel usually at launch you'll see like maybe a bug or two here and there because it's a new android version but i think that because these released with android 14 which has already been out for a year i think i actually prefer them doing it this way because it does ensure a smoother launch and it doesn't really like like take away from anything. I mean, obviously it's cool to have the newer OS, but you still have seven years of support. Like you're not going to be too angry at the performance just because it's still an Android 14. It's still the latest OS out. There's not really much to say here. I mean, it's a good experience and it's what you should expect from a brand new device like this that costs a lot of money. You want to have something that is smooth and fluid and this definitely delivers on that. Now, something that can be iffy at times on pixels is battery life. I've personally had pretty decent battery life on previous pixels, but this takes it up to a different level. For my test, I get about two hours more screen on time than I did on my previous 8 Pro, which is definitely surprising because this is a smaller phone. This is a technically smaller battery size and everything, and it's it outshines it. I would say my average is eight and a half hours of screen on time with this phone, although there's some days where I've had more or some days where I've had less. It just depends on what you're doing. That That's every phone ever. But I do generally find that this is the longest lasting Pixel ever, and it, especially for a smaller phone. It is a very, very nice upgrade, and I'm happy to report that the efficiency is much better this year. Now, you can't talk about a Pixel if you don't talk about the cameras. I think it's safe to say that this is probably one of the best picture taking phones out there. I mean, it's obvious. It's a pixel. Things just look really nice. They come out good on the first try. You take a picture and it's just, it's there. It's done. It's a nice picture. There's also a new HDR image processing pipeline. And I'm not really sure if there's like a huge difference. There's definitely some small things I've noticed, like different types of colors, maybe, maybe a little more accurate. The ultra wide camera on the 9 Pro is also great. Everything comes out nice and sharp, but I do have more to say on the ultra wide later. But overall, it's just what you, you would come to expect from a pixel it's just a very nice point and shoot camera that just works and things look good so now we should also talk about the video quality the base video quality in here is really good i use it for shooting my videos and everything looks good everything looks sharp everything looks nice and balanced in terms of colors and light but once you enable video boost things just really get awesome i recorded some clips of zoom enhance for you and you can zoom up to 20 times and it looks really nice and also mm. notice how the lens switching is a lot smoother than you were used to on a pixel they they somehow have fixed that with the processing with video boost i'm not really sure of the technical you know things for video boost or what they do on their servers but whatever they're doing is definitely working and making things look really nice anyways though i definitely think that the overall camera experience on this phone is top notch and when you enable video boost things become really nice and if you don't mind waiting for the video boost i would say it's worth it now finally i I have some interesting things to say in terms of downgrades and this does specifically apply when you're going from an 8 pro to a 9 pro so keep that in mind something that is definitely a downgrade though in my opinion are these speakers this could be because i have the smaller 9 pro not the bigger xl model but i do find that the speakers just end up not feeling quite as full as the 8 pro here's a little example for you
I think the 8 Pro has better base to it, although some people could prefer the 9 Pro. It just depends on personal preference, and I just, I think I prefer the 8 Pro overall. The final downgrade that I've noticed is the ultra-wide sensor. I'm not saying this is a bad ultra-wide sensor or that's a very noticeable downgrade, but I do find myself preferring the 8 Pro's ultra-wide when it comes to low light and macro shots. But like I said, this does not mean that it's a bad sensor at all and that it's unusable. I still really like the images coming from it. But when it comes down to the macro shots and the nighttime performance, I, I just find myself preferring the 8 Pro for some reason. This could be something that they improve over time with software updates. After all, the 8 Pro has had a full year of camera improvements that they could have done. So maybe the 9 Pro will catch up after a year and be on par or better. But it is something to take into consideration and just decide for yourself if you think that's better or not. I don't I don't want to definitively say that it's worse, but I do find myself preferring the 8 Pro. You guys decide what you think. Not me. Don't let me decide. <laughs> in conclusion, I think that this is probably one of the most solid pixel releases in a while. And two weeks in, I'm, I'm loving it so far. It's been a really nice phone, really nice and snappy, nice and smooth. The cameras are great. Everything about this phone is just very, very solid. It really is the best pixel ever made of all time. I would hope so. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.